describe my hair as crazy, unique and beautiful. Memorable, crazy and funky. My hair is beautiful, it is unpredictable and it's unique. So the natural hair movement is something that started in, if you go back all the way into like the early 60s, like during the fight for, um, I guess civil rights, the civil rights movement, where people started to come out with their natural selves, embrace their natural hair. So I think being natural is beyond just the look or like your outer appearance. I think being natural comes in within your character as well. Like I have textured hair, I'm black, you know, I've got dark skin. People come into this world and there's an expectation to, um, you know, be a certain way or look a certain way and so, but being natural is, is going, like fighting through those um, you know, expectations of society and just being yourself. Like, cause you know, I'm different and, and that's, that's, that's being natural essentially. Yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> People around here haven't really gotten to see or kind of experience what natural hair is like, Afro textured hair is like, so they would ask to touch the hair or they would ask very interesting questions like, do you wash it? People expect it to be very hard because it looks hard, but then when they touch it, they're like, oh my gosh, it's so soft. Like, how'd you get it this soft? And then they end up staying for more than five minutes in your hair. Natural hair in Australia, I feel like our generation is embracing it, whereas like the older generation are not too keen on it. Because there's been times where I've gone to the um, hairdresser with my natural hair, and they're like, oh, why don't you relax it, you know? Why don't you straighten it? It'll be easier to, <laughs> it'll be easier to maintain. And it's like, no, but this is how I want it to be. So you have that pressure from the older generation, and it makes you kind of second guess, like, should I really have my hair natural? Should I straighten it like they say I should? But, you know... I'm happy that you know our generation is embracing it. So like the younger kids growing up, you know, they have people to look up to and they won't feel like the pressure that we did growing up. I think we're in a really good position because we can tell people how we want to be treated. We can tell people how we want them to react to our hair and not just sort of come up with these preconceived notions about, you know, oh, if I wear my hair out, then people are going to think this. No, it's like you can walk into a room and be like, no, this is what African people look like. This is what my hair is like. Acceptance and rejection is something that I definitely do think about, but it's something that over time I guess I've learned to kind of push aside and just be who I am because that's a whole part of the natural hair movement is not only accepting everything about yourself but being comfortable with it. Yeah, so it makes me feel good that, you know, like something that, it belongs to me, it's mine. Like it's, it just, it's me. 